good evening, um, everybody, uh, and thanks for your time tonight. So my name is Ricardo. I am an urbanist. I choose the word very carefully because um, I'm a designer and I specialize in, in master planning, but I like the term urbanist because it explains that it's not just when you work on places, it's not just about the spatial dimension of it, it's also about understanding its um, economic side, its social side, and not just about designing uh, pretty things. So I'm, I'm always keen to uh, insist on the uh, importance of, of you know, urbanism rather than just design. Um, um, this introduction is very timely and very useful to our team because um, we, we can introduce ourselves properly. We've been um, working on the local uh, center in the enterprise zone since the end of May now. Uh, hopefully I'll see you many times as we go through the process. I'm gonna show you later a little uh, Gantt chart that explains the different stages of uh, what we'll be doing. And of course, the aim is to start a conversation with you and get as much input as we can uh, in the development of proposals for this part of Norsto. I work for AR Urbanism, which is a studio, which is a studio that uh, specializes in uh, complex urban sites. And we, um, we've been operating since uh, uh, 2007. We are based in Hackney. Uh, at least is the uh, right part of London in terms of Northeast, and it's very straightforward to get to Norstow. Um, we work across the UK and occasionally abroad. And um, we've been appointed, as I said, in, uh, in May to provide advice to the council in the preparation of the plans and proposals for the local center and enterprise zone. Um, in terms of, let me see if I can move forward. Yes. So in terms of the brief, um, from a technical point of view, we are supposed to assist the district council with the preparation of proposals for um, IRIBA stages zero and two. What it means is what follows on the slide. Um, so we need to help to get to an agreement on a vision to develop the um, local center and enterprise zone and therefore uh, develop a master plan. I like to insist on the word agree because it's a co-design exercise. It's not the classic consultant that comes in, brings their, bring their idea, and then hope oh, there you go, you have a nice plan. Places do not really go very far if you try to shape it that way. It needs to be an exercise where there is an agreement between multiple parties and the community is leading that. Um, at least if we're really serious about sustainability in the long term. Um, we will have to look at, on the basis of this dialogue with the community, um, at design principles and uh, broad high level options for both the enterprise zone and the local center. Frankly speaking, I don't like to distinguish between the enterprise zone and the local center. It's one place and it's going to be about blending the two so, and blending the two within the wider area. So I like to call it local center if you don't mind, for the rest of the presentation at least. Um, we need to, and what we've been doing for the past month and a half, try to digest all the wealth of evidence that is available um, because yes, we are joining uh, the team, the wider team also for the district council now, but uh, we need to recognize the amount of work that has already been done here. So we're catching up in terms of understanding of the place. We have been already spending time also on site uh, in the previous uh, spell of summer that we had, we have been uh, using our bikes to and, and, and walk around as well quite a lot. And we need then to come up with, um, to, to find solutions to the request and the ambition of that we um, will register during the, um, the process. Now, it's not me controlling the screen, and <laughs> just to make it clear, <laughs> thank you. Um, we are reviewing um, in, to respond to the clear aspiration of uh, our brief, which is to, to really have a truly sustainable uh, local center here. We are doing a review of benchmarks of national and international best practice for this type of uh, places. 
and we are starting our consultation uh, with an engagement, I'd rather say, uh, with uh, stakeholders uh, and the local communities. I will um, give you uh, later some details on how you can engage with us about this. Um, at the end of this uh, engagement and co-design process, we will also prepare an outline business case um, to explain how this place is going to be delivered because it's as important as, um, as design it. Uh, there's little point in design something that isn't really not possible to deliver. Um, let me see if I can. I need help here because it's not changing slide. Um, John, thank you. Um, so in terms of um, the site, um, Today, and in fairness, for the first stage of the development, it's not really about us coming and talking to you about our ideas. It's really a listening as this exercise that we are we're doing. Um, so I didn't want to present a lot of those slides with design. I was just keen on two in particular. This is just an initial summary of what's going on on the site and what we observed from our initial understanding. Um, I think the, the most um, interesting elements, I think, are connectivity, first of all, uh, especially for pedestrians and, uh, um, and cyclists. The, the local centre is in an amazing position, is on the way between the park way, the uh, uh, park and ride, and the uh, established early phases of development and by the uh, B1050. So it's, it's in, a, in a really pivotal position and the connectivity from all these development to these locations, whether the existing neighborhood or the future neighborhood is paramount in order to activate and make sure that that place really serves and is accessible by uh, everyone. Um, there are things on site, we're not operating on a blank canvas, even if you see a green field, there are still things that we should take into account, things that you see, including uh, mature trees that we're trying to assess right now what it's possible to do with them without having to displace too many things, there is ecology. There are aspects that relate to flooding and drainage that we need to take into account. Um, there, is, there are possible areas of contamination, so we're working with engineers to understand what, are the full, what is the full picture. We're very keen to understand how we can connect, really provide a smooth connection to the um, uh, station, to the, to the north, uh, to the bus, guided bus um, service, and how we can, if you like, make the most of this connection that is, do you see light blue running north south here, that runs just outside the local center. This is the, the proposed uh, busway. Um, there are local other local bus services that touch the central, uh, the local center, but we will have to find ways to make sure that we don't miss that opportunity to feed uh, from, from these, these connections. Um, these are just very early thoughts. Um, another important element, I suppose, I should mention now is how we can connect and integrate with a wider uh, network of um, green uh, connections and uh, paths uh, for pedestrians and cyclists, and, and especially how we can enhance and contribute so it makes sense in the bigger picture. Even if the land use on this location is, boy, is going to be about uh, community and social infrastructure and employment, it doesn't mean that we need to stop all these uh, connections and things that are happening around just at the boundary of the site. We need to bring them in and try to find a way to continue that language that is, I think, very successful then will be even more successful in the future, but we need to provide that bridge. Now, in the previous slide, I think we, slipped, we, we skipped one. Um, sorry, John, I'll ask you to go back one. Um, this is just a very uh, <laughs> abstract, probably, picture. It shows the um, catchment area of the local center. So the local center is at the, in, in the middle of the picture here where my cursor is. 
and it shows uh, different uh, you know air catchment areas of 400 meters 800 meters typically walkable distances now at the moment we already have about 1500 units within this area so it means that it's already quite a crucial amount of you know, critical amounts of people that rely and will rely even more on this location in the future. And if we are able to provide these um, nice walking routes, we probably also limit traffic to the development. And um, of course, is going to be about accessing from elsewhere also the uh, employment zone. And part of that will be on vehicles, although we really will try our best to um, stimulate and, and enhance access by a sustainable means. Um, this is e going to be even more uh, a compelling uh, case once all the different plots uh, for residents are developed in terms of the amount of people that we rely on the lo on this uh, local centre. Now I will try to go to slide down it's working this is our uh, program so as i mentioned we're starting now the dialogue with you uh, with everybody all the, the stakeholders the business community the residents and we have um we, we envisage that we are we're gonna remain in this listening phase and early thinking until the end of the summer effectively so you see in green here in this picture um one, these two numbers one and two um, at the basically now from next week and then at the early at the beginning of September we're going to have dedicated workshops with residents and with local businesses we have also launched a uh, online survey later I will um, uh, put on the chat in the chat the links for these um, events at least for the first uh, event that is going to take place in the second half of July. Um, the first step, as I mentioned, is going to be us listening to, uh, to you and also explaining what we're finding uh, through our analysis and try to validate our understanding. As I said, we try to catch up. You are the best source of information and understanding of the place. And we are going to do the technical side, the due diligence on the technical side, but we need to converse these two things to be able to produce later proposals that are meaningful. So we're going to do this. And then at the beginning of um, September and at the beginning of October, we will start testing early ideas based on those um, discussions that we had so far. So in phase two, we're going to start testing ideas. And in phase three, in, in October, we will start uh, try to bring things together into a coherent uh, plan and, and of course, test it with um, testing with you um, how well we're doing and uh, the level of support for these uh, type of, um, of proposals. It's going to be a, an important testing ground uh, for us. We will then amend um, plans and seek cabinet approval and then developed uh, a more detailed level of design. We'd like to keep it at conceptual level, not drill into too much detail, get an agreement between all the different parties on the approach, and then uh, develop a more detailed um, design that could support the council and help the council to submit a planning application in outline. So again, not detailed design, but in principle, uh, in uh, um, at the beginning of next year in 2022. Um, let me see if I'm lucky with the slide changing. Um, yes, so we are taking a look at different levels. I'm a master planner, so my role is, if you like, the gel to bring the different disciplines together and try to find the synthesis from a spatial point of view, but um, so we, as AR Urbanism, we have the, we have the master planners, but we have uh, planners. We have a, a very good planner called uh, Andy Black. We have Okra, who are a Dutch landscape design company who has already worked in the UK. I really like their work for their um, 
attention for uh, the sustainability side, the integration of walking and cycle into um, the landscape proposal and streetscape proposal. We have uh, civil engineers, uh, expedition, and uh, we are, which are part of um, um, a useful, useful project. I think the, the, the full name of the company, the mother company is. We have an important role for PRD, who are regeneration specialists, and they are looking already at delivery and viability. We want to be realistic on what is achievable, and we want them to find ways to get it delivered. We're not interested in the design that is just nice on the drawing board, and then it doesn't really um, deliver on the ground. Um, we're looking at, again, utilities. Um, we have architects as well supporting us, taking a look at uh, Briam. So it's a sustainability standard that you use, is using the industry, but they're also our, if you like, uh, critical friends in terms of architecture that will uh, challenge us as a designer, as in internal uh, critical um, friends. Steer or our transport specialist that try to help us to push the uh, movement and access strategy. Um, and uh, yeah, and then of course we're looking at heritage as uh, uh, the councillors before me mentioned, it, this is not a place that comes out of nowhere. There is a local history and we need to reflect that in proposals as well. Um, and of course there are other technical uh, elements to be uh, taken into account in this. Let me see. So these are the first two dates for the residents and the business uh, workshops that we have organized. I'm going to copy now um, this information in the chat so you can click and subscribe. Please, please take part in this. The more we uh, hear from you, the more we can uh, respond to your uh, challenges. I always like to say, you know, we uh, we specialists specialists on these things. Our job is to listen, elaborate, and then get back to you. I know already that we're not gonna say yes to every single thing that you're gonna say, but if we say no to something, we'll definitely provide an explanation for that, and we're really keen to um, bring uh, bring you in the journey to explain fully why we're doing certain things and not others. And of course, we give plenty of opportunities to challenge us on that. It happens that we have done silly things in the past, I'm not shy to say, but because of this core design process, then we can act and amend. We don't expect to be uh, always right or anything like that. And we normally get interesting insights and ideas from, uh, from the community and local businesses. I'd rather probably shut up because I think I've used my time. I hope I, uh, I can, I've transmitted my uh, passion for the project. We're very, all very excited. And we really, now that we're finishing the due diligence and reading a lot of what uh, has been done so far, really move to the next stage, which is interacting with you and uh, discussing ideas. Thank you.